In 2010, Adrian Lewis's darting talent was clear to see, but he was yet to win a TV title. In his early PDC years, he was mentored by none other than 16-time champion of the world, Phil Taylor. It was Phil who beat Lewis in his first two TV finals, first at the 2006 World Series in America, where the power averaged 102.5 to smash 80, 13-5. Two years later, Phil averaged 104 to beat Adrian 11-5 in the final of the first ever European Championship. By 2010, Adrian was getting help from another world champion as he decided to sign with Keith Della Sports Management. Della famously won a world title, taking out 138 against Eric Bristow in 1983. Della was now tasked with helping Adrian to fulfil his darting destiny. And it wasn't long before that happened. Lewis won his first world title in 2011, hitting a nine darter in the final. Following this match, Della spoke about how he had helped Lewis. What have you worked on and how have you improved Adrian Lewis's game? Well, the thing with Adrian was, I think it was just too jokely. He's such an easy-going lad. They love him on the exhibition circuit. But when you're playing the tournaments, it's a job. And Adrian stopped the walk-on where he used to run down here. He's building too much you know, energy going. And uh, on the practice board, each day this week, over the 15 days, all we've been doing is practicing hard finishes, setting him targets, and, and keeping him really concentrated. Adrian also spoke about how Keith had helped him. And how big an influence has Keith been on you? Um, yeah, he's big on us, you know. It, he, he always comes up to me and says, uh, we always have like a, a pre-match talk. Uh, and he says, right, come on, this is what you're doing wrong in your last match. And you've got to step up on this. So when we're in practice room there, he'll come over to me and I'll start practicing on that, you know. I'd just like to say a, a big thanks to Keith as well. So thank you. Cheers, Brilliant. Keith. The main change Adrian spoke about in the media was the toning down of his energetic walk-on. Lewis also changed equipment following this world title win. Lewis defended his world title, going back-to-back -back a year later, having reached the Premier League and European Championship final in the 2011 season. Lewis lost in a deciding set against MVG in the quarter-final of the 2013 World Championship, and a few months later, it was announced that Adrian's three-year partnership with Della was ending. Lewis said that the split was amicable and by mutual agreement, with Keith adding that he thanked Adrian and wished him the best for the future. In his time away from Keith, Lewis managed to win the European Championship and UK Open, as well as reach the final of the match play and Masters. Behind the scenes, Della began working with Lewis again at the 2014 Players' Championship Finals, where he reached the final but lost 11-6 to Gary Anderson. Then, just before the 2015 World Championship, it was publicly announced that the pair were working together again. Della said that former players made the best managers as they had the experience of playing on the stage. Lewis reached a single singles major final in 2015, where he was beaten by MVG at the Players' Championship Finals. However, he did manage to win the World Cup alongside Phil Taylor that year, a title which the pair attained in 2016. At the start of that year, he reached the final of the World Championship where he was a pre-tournament 16-1 to shot. In this final, he lost to Gary Anderson, but it was a close game. Shortly after that final, it was announced that Lewis had signed a three-year contract extension which would see Keith remain as his manager until 2020. Lewis only won a single Pro Tour title in 2017 Plays Championship 5 in Milton Keynes. He also hit his fifth televised nine data in the Premier League that year, his second in two years in the Premier League. His 2018 season began with a shock round one World Championship loss to Kevin Munch, and the year didn't get much better, with the most memorable moment being when he had a fight with Jose Hestesia at a UK Open qualifier. Then, in early 2019, a report from Game on Dart stated that Lewis had terminated his contract with Keith a year early. This was shared by the biggest Lewis fan account. However, a week after this report, Della tweeted a statement saying the following, having seen numerous tweets fueled by fake journalism, in particular by Game on Darts, I would like to point out that Adrian Lewis is still under contract to Keith Della Sports Management Limited. Game on Darts responded by apologising and removing the article saying that they would strive to do better research in the future. Things got even stranger the following day, where Lewis tweeted, 
confirming that the original thought was true, stating that he had terminated his contract with Keith Della Sports Management from the 22nd of February 2019. He said that Della was well aware of that and Keith deleted his tweet shortly after this. Aidy added that any inquiries should be sent directly to him rather than to Della. Therefore, the original report was true and Game on Darts re-uploaded the article and said that they would discuss how to deal with Della's response. Then, everything went a bit quiet. It was clear that Lewis and Della had fallen out over something, but the reason wasn't made public. Publicity around the drama reignited in July 2020 when televised darts returned behind closed doors after lockdown. Lewis beat Danny Nopper in round two of the world match play and was then interviewed by Sky. When asked how it felt to play with no fans, Lewis stated it was like a Keith Deller exhibition with the silence. A few weeks later, Lewis apologised to Della over the comments. He stated that they were made in jest, but that they were unnecessary and inappropriate. He apologised for any distress or harm he had caused Keith and said that the pair had agreed to move on. Then, a few weeks later, Della stated that the dispute had come to an end with an agreed settlement being confirmed. The pair had worked with Sports Resolutions, a dispute mediation service. No further detail was given, but reports have stated that it was a financial dispute. Della stated that he had always tried to do the best for his players that he managed. He said that it was unfortunate that this dispute spilled over into sports resolutions, but that he was pleased that the matter had finally resolved itself. Lewis added that he was pleased that the dispute had reached a conclusion. Now, as many of you will be aware, Adrian is currently on a break from PDC Darts, having not appeared in an event since the 13th of March. Many fans will see this as a negative, but I see it as a positive for Adrian, having gone through some tough years recently. He's lost a lot of weight and sounds happy to have some time away from the darts circuit. Many people felt that he could make a return at the upcoming PDPA Tour Card World Championship Qualifier, where he could have a chance of making Ali Pali. However, yesterday we had confirmation that he's appearing at a 30th anniversary of the World event in London on the same day in a theatre that's nearly four hours from the venue of the qualifier. So, it will be even longer before we see AD and PDC action again, but he should be refreshed when he finally makes a return. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications and leave a like if you enjoyed the video as it really helps the channel out.